In the quiet glow of the screen, a world unfurled before our eyes in shades of 1970s nostalgia. A time when technology was a realm of imagination, and the boundary between human and machine was as delicate as a whisper in the wind. It was within this era that the bionic woman first graced our living rooms, an electrifying dance between the ordinary and the extraordinary. Do you recall that flicker of excitement as you caught your first glimpse of Jane Somers, the bionic marvel? Her strength was a revelation, her speed a marvel, and her resilience a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human soul. In the midst of ordinary days, she shattered the glass ceiling of limitations, showing us that the extraordinary was but a leap of faith away. As the TV series unfolded, it wove its tale of futuristic wonderment into our hearts. The iconic sound of bionic limbs and the rush of adrenaline as Jame embarked on daring escapades painted lasting memories. Moments suspended in time, like a bionic leap across the chasm of our imaginations. Perhaps you recall the thrill of watching her take on the six million dollar man himself in an electrifying crossover episode. A collision of two worlds that sent shockwaves through our collective all. And so, as we journey back to that era of promise and exploration, let's unravel some lesser-known gems about this iconic show. Behind-the-scenes anecdotes that spark a new kind of fascination, shedding light on the dedication and passion that brought James World to life. It's fascinating to discover how the show's creators drew inspiration from real-life advancements in science and technology, blending them seamlessly with the fictional universe. The bionic woman wasn't just a character, she was a glimpse into what might be, a testament to the power of human potential when coupled with innovation. So, let's venture forth, uncovering the hidden layers of this beloved series, a masterpiece that left an indelible mark on both the screen and our minds. For every iconic slow-motion run, every daring rescue, and every heart-pounding escape, the legacy of the bionic woman lives on. A reminder that we, too, are capable of transcending our limitations. And now, armed with newfound knowledge and a heart brimming with nostalgia, let's delve into those intriguing nuggets of information about the bionic woman. The show that dared to reimagine what it means to be human in a world that's always evolving. After all, the bionic spirit lies not just in wires and circuits, but in the boundless potential that resides within us all. The Bionic Woman, a 1976 TV series, emerged as a spin-off from the hit show The Six Million Dollar Man. Created by Kenneth Johnson, it starred Lindsay Wagner as James Somers, a tennis pro turned bionic woman after a tragic skydiving accident. The show's origins trace back to the character's introduction in a two-part episode of its parent series. At its core, the show explored themes of empowerment, identity, and the ethical implications of advanced technology. James Somers, equipped with bionic limbs and an ear, embarked on daring missions for the OSI while grappling with her newfound abilities and the challenges of keeping her bionic identity a secret. The chemistry between Lindsay Wagner and Lee Majors, who played Steve Austin in the original series, added depth to the narrative. The show's unique style blended action, espionage, and science fiction, captivating audiences with its futuristic concepts. The Bionic Woman achieved significant cultural impact, highlighting the potential of technology to enhance human abilities and sparking discussions about the intersection of science and humanity. It reflected the changing role of women in society, portraying Jame as a strong, independent character who defied traditional gender roles. Random facts about the show, the iconic bionic sound effects became synonymous with the series, creating a lasting auditory memory for viewers. The show's success led to several crossovers with The Six Million Dollar Man, creating a shared universe of bionic adventures. Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Somers earned her an Emmy Award, solidifying her place in television history. The series was rebooted in 2007 with a new cast, but the original remains a classic that shaped the landscape of science fiction TV. Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Somers in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman not only captivated audiences, but also broke new ground in the sci-fi genre. Notably, Wagner's exceptional performance earned her an Emmy, marking a milestone as the first woman to win an acting Emmy for a science fiction series. Contrary to common belief, the show did not introduce the concept of fembots to television. The idea was earlier showcased, albeit with variations, in The Magician, The Illusion of the Stainless Steel Lady, a series starring Bill Bixby. 
In this rendition, the face mask unveiling revealed an eerie steel visage and blue eyes, distinct from the bionic franchise's more advanced automatons. Amidst these pioneering feats, one standout element was the bionic jump action sequences, orchestrated by Lindsay Wagner's stunt double Rita Eggleston. Eggleston's reverse jump onto an inflated bag filmed at 60 frames per second, then reversed, created an iconic and dynamic visual effect that left viewers in awe. As we revisit the legacy of the bionic woman, it's clear that the show not only reshaped the portrayal of women in science fiction, but also laid the foundation for future innovations in the genre. Lindsay Wagner's Emmy win remains a testament to her exceptional talent and the series' enduring impact on television history. The Bionic Woman of 1976, a groundbreaking television series that captivated audiences with its futuristic concept and strong female lead, is not without its backstage dramas and intriguing inspirations. One notable incident involves the tensions between the show's stars. An insider revealed that Lee Majors, who portrayed the Six Million Dollar Man, expressed his envy over the success of The Bionic Woman. In a startling confrontation, Majors reportedly confronted the production team, insisting they shift focus back to his show. He demanded fewer episodes for the spin-off and more for his own series, asserting his flagship status. This behind-the-scenes clash offers a glimpse into the fierce competition and egos that often underlie the glamour of television stardom. Delving into the naming of the iconic character James Somers, we uncover a connection that reaches beyond the realm of television. Kenneth Johnson, the mastermind behind the show, found inspiration in the real world. Having worked with a water skier named Jamie Summers during his tenure producing killer whale shows at SeaWorld, Johnson decided to immortalize the name for his fictional creation. Notably, the real Jamie Summers expressed delight in sharing her name with the bionic heroine, bridging the gap between reality and fiction. Interestingly, parallels can be drawn between the bionic woman and the world of comics. The titular character, Jane Somers, bears similarities to Marvel's mutant hero Cable. In the X-Men comic books, Cyclops and Jean Grey's son, Nathan Somers, becomes the cyborg Cable after being sent to the future to save his life. Similarly, James Somers undergoes bionic enhancements following a traumatic accident. This convergence of themes underscores the universality of human fascination with the melding of human and machine. In retrospect, the bionic woman remains an emblem of innovation and creativity, not just on screen but also behind the scenes. The clashes, inspirations, and unexpected connections that surrounded the show continue to shed light on the complexity of television production and the enduring impact of pop culture phenomena. Lindsay Wagner's indelible portrayal of James Somers in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman captivated audiences with both action and drama. Amidst the acclaim, a real-life incident injected unforeseen drama into production. During the show's debut season, Wagner found herself in a fateful car accident with her then-boyfriend, actor Michael Brandon. The collision left Wagner with a persistent scar on her upper lip, a stark reminder of the event. The aftermath of the accident resonated on screen too, halting production for two weeks to facilitate Wagner's recovery. Wagner's on-screen chemistry with Lee Majors, who portrayed Steve Austin, the Six Million Dollar Man, further fueled the show's success. Their dynamic duo, characterized by cutting-edge bionic enhancements, etched a memorable place in sci-fi lore. In fact, TV Guide recognized their iconic characters, James Somers and Steve Austin, by ranking them 19 on the list of 25 greatest sci-fi legends. This accolade solidified their status as trailblazers in the realm of science fiction television. Beyond the human drama and superhuman feats, another object attained its own cult following within the series, James Somers' mode of transportation. Her car of choice, the 1976 Datsun 280Z, is a testament to the show's keen eye for detail. Notably, Dotson has since evolved into the global giant Nissan, but the legacy of the 240Z-280Z models endures. These cars have transcended their status as mere vehicles, earning a revered spot among collectors as cherished classics. From real-life adversity to interstellar acclaim, the bionic woman encapsulated the essence of 1970s television. Lindsay Wagner's commitment to her role, coupled with the timeless allure of her bionic alter ego, solidified her place in TV history.
The scars of the past and the accolades of the present ensure that the bionic woman remains an enduring touchstone of science fiction excellence. Lindsay Wagner takes spotlight in bionic reunion in the world of 1970s television. One name stands tall, Lindsay Wagner. Her portrayal of Jane Somers, the iconic bionic woman, captivated audiences and left an indelible mark on pop culture. The Bionic Woman, a spin-off from the acclaimed series The Six Million Dollar Man, introduced viewers to a world of cutting-edge technology and superhuman feats. Interestingly, in the Bionic Wedding TV movie Reunion, Wagner took top billing over her co-star Lee Majors. While Majors found success in the 1980s with The Fall Guy, Wagner's ascent was more measured. Despite the resounding popularity of the Bionic franchise in the 70s seconds, her subsequent ventures didn't reach the same heights as her male counterparts. A curious twist to their on-screen romance is the age difference between the actors. Jame and Steve, portrayed as high school sweethearts, shared a deep connection on screen. Yet, reality diverged as Majors was a decade older than Wagner, emphasizing the magic of Hollywood storytelling. Lindsay Wagner's embodiment of the bionic woman not only showcased her acting prowess, but also paved the way for empowered female protagonists on television. The bionic woman remains a cultural touchstone, a testament to Wagner's talent, and a reminder of the era's television legacy. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey down memory lane, I hope these words have rekindled the spark of nostalgia that only a timeless classic like the bionic woman can evoke. It's fascinating how the show's futuristic allure merged seamlessly with the genuine emotions of its characters, etching an indelible mark on the canvas of television history. As you reflect on the bionic adventures, the daring escapades, and the unbreakable spirit of Jane Somers, perhaps you're reminded of your own personal connection to those moments. Maybe it's the excitement of watching her harness her superhuman abilities, or the suspense that kept you at the edge of your seat with every mission. It could be the camaraderie between characters that mirrored friendships in your own life, or the underlying themes that stirred your thoughts long after the credits rolled. These are the treasures of our memories, the imprints of a show that didn't just entertain, but also resonated on a deeply human level. If you feel compelled, I invite you to share your cherished recollections and thoughts about the bionic woman. Your insights could be a thread that weaves us all together, a tapestry of emotions and anecdotes that continue to breathe life into a show that transcends time. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are invaluable, as they've allowed us to celebrate a piece of television history that continues to shape our cultural landscape. Here's to the bionic spirit that lives on within each of us.